Hello and welcome to another episode of God is Dead. I'm Bryce Mills. And my name's Campbell Walker. And the premise of God is Dead is pretty simple. What we do is we take all the bad things that we've ever seen online and we use them to build up a case that God has left us. Listen, to- you heard... Sorry to cut you off. I'm no, just like, no, listen. No. Snip, snip, baby. <laughs> snip, snip. You're dead. I will <laughs> say, your hair's gone. Yeah, whoops. Uh, I will say that we, you know, we sort of hinted last week that... Man, on our break, quote unquote, we were out here grinding, doing some other projects. And so I think we embraced the, what we've learned. Call me Bob Burnquist, over baby. That time. Yeah, I've been spending a lot of time on Grind Talk personally. It's where you really learn how to do things like meditate, eat, don't masturbate, uh, Finally, get, get what you want in life. semen retention. Yeah. I'm never going to let anyone say the word not masturbate my shit, man, <laughs> without my reminding shit. them of the true term. Yeah, my shit sloshes when I walk, you know, like... <laughs> Just fucking like That's it's what a, you want You want to be wearing Parachute pants full of cum Yeah, yeah Internally the Air internally. conditioning unit in the car Type sound You're like, <laughs> like Like just coming in The freaking sack Yeah like so. a Like a deflated water balloon no. Yeah Hell yeah You know That's how they're looking And it's because I mean on Grind Talk So we're ready to grind Hell yeah So we will be talking about Grind Talk But what do you do When you have all that energy All that impotent energy To start a business You're going to need Some friggin business ideas And I have just the book for you we have got our first acoustic case, <laughs> which it comes from a book published in the early 90s called 179 Business Ideas for Kiwis Who Want to Win in the 90s. Wow. So we're going to be going through some of those very tangible, actionable business ideas. Acoustic case. All right. You know how it is. That one won't be on the Instagram, but you can see the other stuff. You can take little photos of it. Yeah, I think a photo will work. For God is Dead, not clickbait. And that's where you see the damn stuff that we're posting. Show notes. Sus the YouTube as well. You can see what the studio will be looking like, see what we look like, face reveal, etc. But for God's sake, just don't move a muscle. Grind. We grind. God is dead. Case one. Grind talk. What is grind talk, Bryce? Real simple, right? It's a hashtag on TikTok for videos about grinding. And what is grinding, Bryce? Well, that's the thing. I think this has really like redefined what grinding is because I think... Maybe traditionally, a grind might be, you know, it's about studying or it's about, I don't know, working really hard and consistently at one thing. And that's true to an extent. But if I just said to you, Cam, off the top of your head, like what are what are some cornerstone facts when it comes to being a hard worker? Follow Gary V. Yeah. Yep, that's number one. No, um, uh, I don't know. I guess <laughs> focus and diligence and commitment to whatever task it is that you're focusing on. Yeah. See, this is an interesting sort of area because I don't know who the target audience is for these TikToks, but one of the really common examples it'll be like someone doing pull-ups at the gym and we'll have this kind of like down now 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 really boss music. epic boss moment coming out of a fridge <laughs> yeah yeah in fact i'll give you i'll give you an example of the song real like sports ad trailer kind of yeah. music like what you're saying the heaviest tackles of the nrl coming at you boom <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, then the like, yeah, dunking. I don't know. Is that what we do in sport? I don't play so dunking I, I, in the NRL. Yeah, yes. I, I play a lot of mini golf, guys. A whole lot of mini golf. I don't even play mini golf. No, I, <laughs> I play chess because my wrists are built for it. This is how the sound might normally be. <laughs> you know, it's like real yeah, epic. Yeah. It looks like Inception soundtrack or something, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really. So then it really gets you in the mood for grinding. And I guess that's that's the interesting thing about these is the grinding isn't necessarily what you might think. So, for example, one of the most popular grind talk videos that comes up, there's two videos here. And it's sort of, this isn't the pull-ups one, but it's uh, about having this certain energy and how to instantly stop giving a fuck, right? <laughs> Because that's so important in life. It's this fucking thing where these guys are obsessed with like not giving a fuck and not listening to people and not having any empathy for people. And it's about me, 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 which is whatever. We'll, we'll discuss that. you got to cut out fuck givers, bro. Apparently, yeah. Cut, them out, cut out them toxic fuck givers. Yeah. We don't need them. We Had don't need instantly. them. Snip, snip, idiots. No more negative energy. No Hell more yeah. things that challenge me. You are cancelled. If you made me question something, I'm cancelling you. How to instantly stop giving a fuck. Never get too excited. Spelt T-O. Too excited. <laughs> never get too excited. It's like <laughs> yeah. a destination. Yeah, never get to that point. <laughs> I swear to God, if you get to there. Every feeling in the universe is temporary. Like, like that is true. So when you got engaged, was the first thing you thought, well, fuck, this is like 
I'll, I'll be happy for two seconds and then back to grinding. Back to reality. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much. That's spot on. That's good. Yeah, and then I showed her this video and she was like, ah, cool. Campbell. Yeah, what have yeah. I entered into? Yeah, whoops. So this is for life, right? Yeah. Protect your energy in all caps. Bro, listen, you're the fucking man. All sorts of people want that energy. Snake emoji. In brackets. All women, maybe. Yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely got a misogynistic twi- a tinge to a lot of these videos. It's cool. like, women are here to trick you. And like, again, <laughs> all sorts of people want that energy. I get this idea of protecting your energy. I mean, I, I'm really fascinated in like, yes, okay. If your job is to be, if you work at... Cirque du Soleil and you're a clown and you're joy you're joy giving and you've got to like really harness your emotional energy and then you're at the um, supermarket and and the guy with the free samples is trying to be like dude how are you and you're you're feeling like you need to be really polite maybe protect your energy and just be like no thanks right listen I'm putting up some boundaries I'm actually a clown at Cirque du Soleil uh, I'm preserving my Cirque du Soleil energy versus like protect your energy in that you know oh sorry. I accidentally spilt coffee all over your table and then you going, well, Bryce, that really makes me feel really sad. And me going, excuse me, you're harvesting my energy right now. <laughs> like, I- I'm actually thinking about starting an app, so <laughs> I'm quite important. <laughs> Yeah, I've had a, I've had an idea. I, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's a whole other case. People that celebrate a thought, like, uh, <laughs> do we're celebrating because we had a podcast idea? Okay, then make it, son. Yeah, okay, okay, bro, 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 I got one. How about instead of poverty? We don't have poverty. Oh, dude. Solved. Let's go celebrate. Yeah, Elon. Emoji time. Bang my Something's coming. Picture of us, (laughs) but like, it's an obscure picture of you just on your laptop. Big things coming. (laughs) Can you imagine if we fucking did that in our break? Dude, we should. Big things will come. We should straight up do it and troll. Uh, All right, okay. So so give me more rules. I need to grind. Stop reacting. The more you react, the more you could be manipulated. Oh, okay. So the first I understand that like comes from stoicism, which is fairly popular at the moment. Mm. Having a bit of a moment because I guess like, you know, the world's getting chaotic and mm. I, I personally back that. Mm. Uh, but the more you react, the more you can be manipulated. I don't like operating from that space of, I don't know, like mm. Machiavellian lack. Again, like, it's like, yeah. What about reacting to uh, your, your family have told you that like you're really being quite toxic or like your family are confiding in you about like a horrible memory or like, I, you know... <laughs> Your, your girlfriend is like, hey, you're really making me feel like shit when you uh, leave the dinner table without paying and then I have to pay. Well, and then me just with like the stone face of an Easter Island head, of a Rapa Nui head, sorry. Yeah. Well, you know, no, you know what happens. It's like um, um, <laughs> the girl goes, hey, so you're really making me feel like shit. You know, like I really wish you could just pay for things and then... He just starts doing pull-ups. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting manipulated. Not today. Not ever. Stay strong, kings. Stay strong. <laughs> exactly. Um, nothing matters in the end. Really think about it. People will always do what they want. Life moves on. That's kind of interesting. Okay. All right. There's a lot. This this feels like a mix between sort of like MRA dog whistling and mm. really basic self-help axioms. Well, yeah. Like people will always do. Okay. People are inherently selfish to an extent. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Like, I don't know. This one's more interesting though because it gives you like weird specifics. So those are like philosophies. Yeah. But then these are um, how to be more... I don't even think I agree with that either. Yeah. Well, exactly. But this is how to instantly be more attractive with instantly and attractive in all caps. Thank God. So this is where it's like a bit of an interesting one because, God, I just would hate the idea of watching someone trying to enact these in their life, like poorly, you know what I mean? Talk slower. Talking slower amplifies your confidence by giving you more time to think. <laughs> Scotty Pippen hours. <laughs> yeah. Um, drink five to eight bottle of water a day. Ah, uh, yep, yep. Wash your face twice a day. We don't have time for plurals. We're, gl- we're grinding. Exactly. Get on NoFap. Increase sexual attraction plus high sex drive. Have you watched many no fat videos? Not in depth. A lot of them are on Grind Talk in that they're not in-depth videos, but it will be dudes being like, a lot of these bits of advice generally fall under the category of like cold showers, actually brush your teeth, no fap, wear good clothes. Like some of it's like, yeah, fucking have a shower. So like, it's like what, 19 year old guys who need to get their shit together? Oh yeah. I, I wonder if it's even for 12 year olds. Like, you know, <laughs> brush your teeth, wear deodorant, start w- wearing cologne, 
look at uh, look at your hair in the mirror. Like, put on it? a fucking sunscreen if you're going to the beach. Like, it's yeah. yeah, okay. It's sort of um. I've always had this like sneaking suspicion that self help is for underparented people. Oh, huge. Yeah, and so when I when I see stuff like that, like brush your teeth, that's literally something that maybe like a parent should have told you. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I agree. Um. Some of these, some of these do fall under the yeah. Generally, that sort of advice is like stop giving a fuck, etc. They're also obsessed with waking up early. Yes, none of these guys ever are like work hard till five a.m. and then sleep in. It's always wake up early, read every day, make exercise a priority, and yeah. For example, right? These are two. There are two types of teens. Mm-hmm. Here's the music. Oh, two types. It's it's actually quite a chill one for grind talk. <laughs> yeah. Teen one wakes up, does school in bed, eats, play video games, goes on phone. Future nine to five, <laughs> which is not an inherent failure. No, that's hell, Bryce. That's- if you end up there, you may as well just kill yourself. <laughs> teen, teen two wakes up before school, works out, reads, goes to school, works on dream, learns, have fun, repeat. Future financially free. Then the top comment is the ones that have a mix of both are most likely to succeed. <laughs> <It's> like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of got that. I'll give you one more before we judge this. Yep. A lot of these guys have just weirdly specific financial advice too, which I don't know how you've God. learned at 18. Yeah. Because I don't freaking know it. Like, you know, barely older than that. Take out a $250,000 loan. Buy a five-bedroom house. Rent it to college students. 800 a month per room. Pay back 2000 a month to the bank and pocket 2000 profit. Do this with 20 homes and make $40,000 a month. Oh my god! I can guarantee you, whoever made that TikTok is has not done that. Well, yeah, the, and the, the footage of it is like a, a car, like nice car <laughs> going into a mansion with other nice cars. Lambos, bro. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know. I'm concerned about the comments. Followed instructions and now an eight hundred thousand dollars in debt. Can you make a tutorial on how to fix this? <laughs> and then the tutorial is. Take out another loan for eight hundred thousand. Buy a mansion in Texas. Rent for ten thousand a month and pay the debt back five thousand a month and take five thousand for yourself to live. So live. simple. So simple. I'm an idiot. Why do I think it's all live. that credit? Uh, I, but I, yeah. Well, so that you don't need a deposit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's, it's pretty, pretty goddamn hard to do that. Uh, but yeah, some of them are tutorials. You know, they're always they're always reading, waking up early, and exercising. And they've all got a small business to also use as a promotion for the whole thing, right? It's never just an ad for waking up early. It's an ad for, and then I worked on my small business called like, you know, Future Generations, which is actually a, a notebooking journal that I'm starting. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Or a life coaching company. Like yeah. business consulting, like something generic yeah. where it's like, yeah, yeah, I just get to be this all the time. Never Absolutely. Have to work. Absolutely. Yeah. Who While needs? you're out there smoking, drinking, and making fun of me with your... I don't know if anyone's making fun of you. Again, I love that this is all about me, me, me. Making fun of me with your friends. I was out here at the gym pushing heavier weights than the weight of the pain you left sinking on my heart. <laughs> it didn't matter what time of the day it was. All I saw you do was hitting your jewel Why I ate on a caloric deficit and lost 35 pounds in the span of seven months. You called me an ugly-ass fob. And now I'm out here influencing hundreds of thousands of lives. See, I don't like comparing or putting people down. I think you fucking do. Yeah. But the difference in our coping mechanism says a lot. Read like poetry. And also, um, fuck the racism in that too. Yeah, yeah. Also, fuck the racism. That guy sounds like an asshole that called him that. Yeah. But also... (laughs) Could have responded differently. Yeah. <laughs> like, what happened to not reacting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like comparing. <laughs> Final judgment. For those that haven't listened before, this is the final judgment where we ask. Does the evidence on the table prove that God is dead or that God's alive? We do this every episode for every case. And so we're looking at Grind Talk, Cam. I'm curious on your thoughts in that you actually you're not a grind talker. But I would say your YouTube channel <laughs> does lean into sort of self-improvement territory. Fair? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I imagine a lot of the kids making these videos have possibly even come across your stuff. I don't know. You're not, in, you're not doing like, wake up before seven and masturbate no times and then go to the gym and drink an egg white and then fuck myself. But, you know. I wish I was. Honestly, I'll probably be there in a year. This year could the, be the, the year of The that. algorithm will get, get to me and I'll be like, hmm, the cornier I am, the better it goes. Hey, you never <laughs> and then know. I'll get the tunnel vision and then. Yeah. Yeah. Kind I'd of, love to. Yeah. Can't wait to work with you this year. That'll be great. Yeah. <laughs> Spending time with that tunnel vision. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Um, but, yes, but. If you don't know, yeah, my, my YouTube has a lot of self-help on it. Yeah, so I don't know. You're 
someone that I'm curious as your opinion Close on. Close to the issue. All yeah. right. So is God dead when I watch Grind Talk Grind Talk? So I will I'm gonna say no, God's actually alive. Oh wow. Yeah, and and hear me out. So where I think all these grind talk videos fall short is in how widely applicable they think these rules are. And that Absolutely. is one thing that I always make sure I say in any of my videos. I'm like, look, this is just what's worked for me. Like, man, demographically, you and me, we're playing on easy mode. Couple of straight white guys with full able bodies. Like the stuff that we use to get through life is not going to be what somebody who needs a wheelchair, for example, gets through life. Like if I'm saying like, wake up at 5 a.m. and, and exercise every day, that is going to be, there. there are such stark differences in how easy that is for us versus somebody else. And like, that's, that's nothing like, you know, that's nothing to to dismiss. Like you can't just be like, "Nah, you're lazy." Mm. So I don't like. It's lazy to that. say, "Nah, you're just lazy." It is. It's right? extremely lazy. So yeah, what I don't like is that they haven't recognized that it's just for them, and also like you know they don't have kids. I don't have kids either, but like there are just there's so many so many, so many situational factors that <laughs> only apply yeah. to the people making this. Well, these kids are often in the prime physical condition of their life. Mm. They're about what 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, and they are in easy mode. They're at college or something. And yeah. yes, got, it's hard, but like there aren't too many pressures on you. Also, there's not like any the, many single dads making grind talk videos. Yeah, and the cohort around you, it's not that hard to win with just a little bit of discipline like if you are like you know in university a lot of the people around you are just going to be like yeah getting fuck eyed and yeah you know waking up late and yeah all that sort of stuff so i don't like that like, but, like I mean, waking up at 5 a.m is abnormal for you yes but like there are so many people that just wake up at 5 a.m because they've got shit to do and kids to feed <laughs> and things to happen and they're not like yes that was my first win of the day you know yeah 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 and then i, I stack it. them up and write them in my win diary what i <laughs> do like though is i think that even though it's an obnoxious execution it is a gateway drug to a better population mm. i think if if i had to pick between kids making grind talk and kids making uh, inane videos where their little brother chokes them out shout out to brad bastidas Lol. <laughs> or like you know like youtube video creepy going. videos where like like they pretend to be in a sexual relationship with their stepsister also another tiktok genre that we've covered yeah. or even i don't know we were talking about earlier people who shave their teeth on tiktok for clout mm. like i would much rather see people being like little diy makeshift gary v wannabes because i know that that plus time and a bit mm. of experience will lead to them hopefully mm. maybe actually giving us some some more wisdom i want to throw a curveball in here we can edit this out please do get your natural reaction um I'm curious as to your thoughts on this too, because again, this is something you know about, but the, the cousin video to Grind Talk, where it's more specifically fitness Grind Talk, right? Mm. There's like Hustle Grind Talk, which often incorporates the fitness into also the small business advice and shit. Yeah. But then the fitness Grind Talk, I notice, I've been watching a lot of videos of this one guy who's being, he's quite popular and he uses Psalms <laughs> and... <laughs> I reckon that there could be a couple of kids that in that journey to the self-expression and the, and the self-improvement are trying legal steroids. <laughs> They're not legal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so Bryce has brought this up because he knows that every now and then I'll, I'll just get a little bit crazy and cycle on with Psalms. If you don't know what Psalms are, mm. they're androgen receptor blockers. So they're, they kind of act in a similar way to steroids, but they're non-hormonal. So they're not touching your testosterone. And the... The, what they do in the end is they'll turn off the thing that tells your muscles to stop growing after you come back from the gym and they'll they'll get you swole pretty fast. It's a fast track to whatever's going to happen naturally from like yeah, yeah, from yeah, yeah. normal exercise. And diet uh, they and are stuff. gray listed in our country. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> um, and however, because, you know, like the oldest Sam is what, 25 mm. years old, we mm. haven't really seen enough long-term effects to know if they'll be bad. They're like, a lot of them have no gnarly side effects like steroids, uh. but... We don't know. Because the only know. reason I ask is like, um, I guess it's a slippery scale where if you're watching a guy, because I, I even find it happens to me and I feel like I've got a decent eye for like bullshit online, but I'll I'll be watching some of these fitness ones and I'm like, oh yeah, that sounds like pretty logical. Like, okay, cool. That's a way to, to do that, blah, blah, blah. And um, then 
we just don't know if that's actually the good advice. Like that guy that was like, buy a Lambo and then sell it to a college kid or whatever. Yeah. Like, he's like, oh, yeah, well, okay. Like, if actually, it's from yeah. a, you I'm, know, I'm going to change it because you're right. It is a slippery slope. I'm going to say, no, nah, God is dead. God is dead because you have to walk the tightrope of being whatever is like morally correct in in the time otherwise you will fall off into mra hell or you might fall off into telling impressionable kids to ultimately do steroids so mm. which by the way i'm not opposed to um but like i think because of that slippery slope i i actually think yeah god god is dead i think interesting yeah yeah it's got to be you got to get it right but it getting it wrong is quite harmful whereas getting it right does improve your life a little bit i see what you mean yeah um yeah. And the odds of getting it right are very, very low. Yeah. Well, so statistically, <laughs> given given the, the huge amount of risk, mm. God's dead. I'm getting emancipated. I'm going to get a TikTok guardian. That's what I'm going <laughs> to do after this. God is dead. Case two. 179 business ideas for Kiwis who want to win in the 90s. So, so that was the title of the book. A very long title. You kept I, I up that voice. Yeah, thank you, man. It's the longest case title that we've ever had on the pod. Yeah, and this is kind of a small book in your hands that's about what... I don't know what A5 is, but is that A5? Yeah, sure. And it's like a red cover, white font, and it's about as thick as a, as a decent magazine, really. It's nothing insanely big. How many yeah. pages? Like uh, 50? Yeah, about that. They're not numbered. The whole thing... Oh, no, they are at the top, which is also weird. So, yep, 77 pages. Okay. Published in 1991. Reeks of self-publishing. So, <laughs> this was given to me a couple of years ago um, by my stepdad, of all people. And he said, here you go. It's the funniest book that I think I've ever found. And he's like, I'm like... What do you mean? And he's like, just have a look at it and imagine a guy doing coke in a boardroom (laughs) and just yelling stuff at you. Yeah. And I started reading and (laughs) man, what this book is, is single paragraphs on business ideas that you could literally have. And that's exactly how they read. This is crazy because we've had, do you remember one time in an early episode we talked about it was how to make money and it was a meme and a lot of them were just like, start a business do youtube and like it didn't have any other details other than that so this is almost on the opposite end of the spectrum where he goes really specific on what you should do without going into any of the nuts and bolts (laughs) and at the end he always at the end of these paragraphs he's always like it's just a genius idea like you couldn't fail with this he Mm. he believes himself so much so here's here's one i'll just (laughs) i'll just read it out for you man this one's called the happy hippo Open up a family restaurant and call it the Happy Hippo. Food would be hippo burgers, hippo coke, hippo (laughs) chips, etc. Theme all the way through would be hippos. Kids would love it. Fast food restaurants selling much the same food must develop a theme to make their place distinctive. This would be. What the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) The idea as well is that the first person to read the book, let's say they do do that, then that's done. You can't, these these ideas have have kind of got to go to one person alone, but also... (laughs) Got to get on them fast. (laughs) Hippo, like, you know, I get... Okay, if something's like... We, we've talked about Pablo Escobar Burgers, which was a oh, yeah. burger j- a j- joint uh, that had Pablo Escobar theme, like cocaine burgers and shit, which was, you know, it had, we, we had it on... Nu- it had nuances. We, we dissected them. We, don't, we aren't saying that we love that idea, but um, <laughs> we set out what we want to say in that episode. But, like, Hippo is not really... Like, it's not a meme. It's not a... Dude, uh, everyone knows about hippos. It's just... I could be like... We're doing we're doing a cat burger. It's so good. It'll be probably better than hippo burger. It's actually than a hippie bit more burger. of a well loved. Like, I don't know, man. Kids thing. would love it. He told me. Why would he lie to me? Why would he lie to me? Uh, so here's another one for you, Bryce. If you if you need it, this one's a short one. Foam rubber wind chimes. This would be a crazy gift to give somebody a bit of crazy. That's the sentence. This would be a crazy what? gift to give somebody a bit, a bit of, crazy. of crazy. Make <laughs> make foam rubber wind chimes and sell them through gift shops that specialize in the unusual. That's the end of the business idea. If you want to win in the 90s in New Zealand, oh, that's what you got to do. Here's a great one. This one just says jumbo marshmallows. Everybody loves marshmallows. <laughs> that, that's your fact. That's, that's, that's how we start. They only seem to come in one size and a lot of the time just in pink and white. Start making them 50% bigger and in a wide variety of colors. Just like Smarties, jumbo mar- marshmallows will melt in your customer's mouth and should become a very profitable confectionery business for you. Is this 100% real? This is 100% real. It cannot real. be real. So, like, I got real curious about this. So, I've, re- I've read the book multiple times. Like, any time that I just want to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> like, I pick up this book. It's, it's probably the favorite, my favorite book I own. 
phone and I googled it and it's not like a book that you can find I've seen one copy on eBay and not much about it online yeah. but so I googled this guy Tony Ward who was the dude who wrote it and it says editor of Tycoon Topics business newsletter oh Christ which is his own yeah. thing I suppose yeah exactly so he's kind of like a grind talker from the late 80s early 90s yeah 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 and what he would do is send around this magazine which would have like a fact about what was going on in the business world and then just a bunch of business ideas basically exactly what this is so it'll be like facsimiles are popping why not fax everybody a business newsletter Oh, video is in why not make a video magazine oh god this is dude it reminds me of like this guy um, who I used to live with who was, um, you know, like a business wannabe dude who wanted to start this charity thing and it had its own problems, by the way. And mm. um, he was like, yo, um, everybody is American. Everybody loves adult coloring books right now. So we're going to sell those. And like, man, they were a thing for three months. Three months. You know, and it was this little gimmick of like, oh, yeah, but then... Mindfulness. Fucking... Oh, here's how the head of NAB Bank likes to use coloring books. Yeah, can you imagine if the fucking... That was a real story. The NAB crew um, started putting out fucking NAB branded fidget spinners. It feels like that, you know? And it's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This will be awesome. And like, yeah, that would be cool merch for three weeks in June 2016. (laughs) You fuck. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's a good one. There's a lot of food themed ones. And I I like to think that he went on one theme and then tried to scatter them and hide it throughout the book. I really love the idea of people that have no qualifications other than a business mind starting anything to do with food as well. I'm sure it can be done, but holy fucking shit. I can't just... I've eaten out heaps of times. I can't just go, time to make hippo burgers. I need to know about burgers. I love it. I love it. I love how simple... It is, and I love the earnestness of him as the author. Yeah. Like, that he's like, this would work. Why would this not work, honestly? It just reeks of, like, friggin', like, cocaine ego parties at 3 a.m. Can I just try something? Please do. Just for this next one, can you read it with this soundtrack? Okay, please. I just want to see if it hits different. Spaghetti's cheap. Open a restaurant offering all the spaghetti you can eat. And perhaps other pasta, plus sauces. The customers pay one price to and to reduce costs even further <laughs> would help themselves. Offer a salad bar too. Either bill it to the, into the price or extra charge for it. People want value. A spaghetti restaurant with a great name could prove to be a smash hit. Capital costs would not be high either. Why it's do some of them still have sound details shit. and some of them don't? Yeah. I the, the music didn't make that a better idea. No, I, I kind of went all. a little bit more like movie trailer. Yeah. <laughs> this summer, build a ping pong emporium. Dude, you should build a ping pong emporium. Expect table tennis to become popular again in the 1990s. Lease an Based em- on what? Based on what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just expect it. No. Just expect It's like full mystic shit. Like, you know, I tell you, bro. <laughs> business tarot cards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Digimon's com- making a comeback this year. It Why? I just, I just need Argamon, he's my boy. <laughs> um, lease an empty factory. Call it the ping pong emporium. Some of them have business names. Some of them, he's like, think of a funny name. Like, yeah. <laughs> which I, I feel like is him externalizing the blame if the, if the business tanks. He's yeah. like, should well, have been a funny name, name man. It's all the name. Yep. Um, put a dozen tennis tables and charge so much for an hour a game. You should also add a few vending machines and perhaps a retail sales division selling table tennis items. It honestly, it's like he's typing and then he's like, oh, and this. And this. <gasps> and this. And this. And this. Oh, dude, how could that not work, man, if I did that? Ooh, baby. Oh my Ooh, God. baby. It's so insane. It is. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to read one? Yeah, let me let me just scroll through and you just say when. All right. When? Great. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. What did you get? It's a self-improvement store. Oh, wow. This Here is relevant. Go. 40 years ago, the only books on self-improvement were the classics written by my old mate Dale Carnegie. Carnegie, yeah, he's the dude who oh, wrote you know how him? to win friends and influence people. Oh, I see. Now there are umpteen thousand books, magazines, videos, software, and tapes on all kinds of self improvement. Go into a bookshop and see for yourself the wide range available. Okay, so so far this is just a statement. Yeah, and also he's like flexing that he seems to be friends with Apparently, this dude. Apparently, yeah, yeah. I believe that this market will explode further in the future, and, okay, and it did. That's actually true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, Tony Ward uh, of, of Tycoon Topics. A new generation <laughs> is being brought up with these aids to help them have an even better life consider opening a shop specializing in just selling these items am i getting proven wrong I actually probably isn't a bad that would have i mean he's got 179 that's they can't all be shit they can't all be shit daycare center for the oldies <laughs> is one they can be dropped off in the morning play games watch movies share friendships and as we get on into the 1990s businesses like this could flourish <clears throat> Interesting. Charco grilled hamburgers. 
There always seems to be room for one more hamburger business. I don't know about that. <laughs> if you're going to do it, then be different about the way you cook the hamburgers. Most hamburgers in New Zealand seem to be cooked on the electric or gas plate. Be different and cook them over charcoal. All you need is, is an extra large barbecue. Make them a fraction fatter. <laughs> and maybe like $100,000, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, lol, and charge a premium. People will pay it. And because they taste great, we'll return again and again. Again, we're assuming a lot here. They taste great, so people will be back. That is, I can't think of how many people have ruined their lives just with that godlike confidence that if I had it, I would feel like my life would be 10 million times better. If, if all of us listening had it, our lives would be so much better if you could just be like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to be fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I, you know, if, if you fail, then whatever. But these guys, when it's like, I'm going to sell my shit and pack everything and then become a chef and I know nothing about it. I'm awesome. That's why it's going to work. That's when it gets real, you know? I don't know. <gasps> oh, they're so good. Pump up pants. A very ingenious Kiwi could do this idea. <laughs> Design a pair of pants with a pump with pump up cushions sewn into the seat. When run arrives at the sports venue, one blows up the seat and sits comfortably. <laughs> Oh God, I, there's some drugs going on here. And like when I was in, I don't know, year two, I had this idea of like, what if I attach springs to the bottom to of my, my shoes, shoes and or, I could jump or around and sticky and I could walk on the ceiling yeah, and that would be in this book <laughs> straight you up. Know? Yeah. Anyone could make soap a Getty. <laughs> <laughs> You just get a bar of soap. I love I love when things are written like, you just do this. All you have to do is just do this. Yeah, you just get a bar of soap, shave it until it looks like small length of spaghetti and market it as a great soap novelty. A wonderful gift. That's the next sentence. A wonderful gift. Oh, God. Make a handbag with a light in it. I've not seen one. Oh, oh, my God. This is my favorite. I have not seen one. He uses that phrase all throughout the book. I have not seen one. I'm sure a lot of women would buy, women would buy one if, if they were on the market. To me, this idea seems so easy and so logical. <laughs> the constant replacement of batteries uh, plus the uh, advent of the phone. Like, I Yeah, the idea of if, if it hasn't happened to me, then it hasn't happened to anyone. <laughs> if I haven't seen it, then no one has. Yeah, which is the problem with all these grind talks. If it works for me, bruh, it'll work for yeah. you. Oh, should we finish on one? Let's find a good one. Make personimals. I came across this one that's been done in Nebraska. A company there manufactures stuffed animals. You send in a photograph of your wife, husband, mother-in-law, kid, and the photo is then transformed onto an individually molded surface that conforms and contours to the face of the stuffed toy. You then end up with a cuddly bunny, dog, or bear with your loved one's face on. The mother-in-law would be great on a dragon. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> mother-in-laws. Mother-in-laws are bad. Not his humor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jewish. That's like the, the best joke of any sitcom in the 90s. This would be a great gift to give. So look into Personimals further. That's not your business idea. You can't, yeah. <laughs> I've McDonald's seen seems pretty popular. You should suss that out and see if hey? you could make it better. Make a smartphone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. Oh, God. Let's judge this thing. Final judgment. Bryce, as we go through the literature, that is 179 business ideas for Kiwis who want to win in the 90s. Are you thinking that maybe God is alive or are you thinking that God is dead? You know, I I can't say God's dead in the way that like, oh my God, what if someone got influenced by this? Because I just don't think <laughs> anyone is going to actually read this book and be like, oh dude, actually I, I found this awesome idea. Like, No, the dumbest person reading that book is the author when he reads it every night. Just yeah. to, like feel like just he's a God. Flex. Yeah, yeah, just to get a boner. Like I, I, I don't know... If I could even say God said, I almost feel like God, it's just nice that we have peculiar ways of thinking and, and that like everyone's got a different, unique little spark and that this guy, like if this was written by a 10 year old, it would be endearing. Yes. You know, yes. it'd be really endearing. And if it was written by an adult, then it's a bit more like there's more questions raised, but it's that classic thing of if it's someone is trying to tell you how to get rich quick and they're charging you, that then that is their way to get rich quick. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, you know, I, I don't know how much money he made off the book, but um, <laughs> something tells me it is nice to know that anyone can get their ideas out there. And even like everyone thinks that the internet is what made that 
happen, but maybe actually it was available if we just had the the willpower to make it into a book and the money, I suppose. What I love, I also, yeah, really love the optimism and the sincerity of the book. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it'll mm. work. It'll That's work. It. How could it not That's work? That's it. That's like old YouTube videos that are really cringy from 07 and people go, oh my God, but actually it's really nice that those little, because they, they become nostalgic in a way and it's in mm. a, in a, and there's no pretense, there's no flexing. Mm. There's something really earnest and genuine about that where this guy isn't too cool for anyone. And because you know? there's no comment section, we can't, yeah. See if it was clownable in totally. the, in its context. Totally. And I like that it's just a nice little book that tells me to start an eel fishing or a children's gym or a sports eyewear or a pirate restaurant idea. Pirate restaurant, hippo restaurant, damn dude. <laughs> Anything restaurant. It Anything seems to be restaurant. one of his models. How but, could you, you know, how could you fail? Yes, it's really nice and no comment section. He wouldn't know that he's being clowned on. No, and Tony Ward, if you're watching this, I actually love that you've written this. It's given me so much happiness. Yeah. It's given me so much so, so much <laughs> to read. Yeah. <laughs> Ever thought of painting golf clubs? Old golf old go- golf clubs show their age. Here's a great way to modernize them. Get out a can of pink paint and sell pink golf clubs or black <laughs> golf clubs or green golf clubs. Colored clubs could be a great novelty and they could even be a tremendous winner for you. You could even start a worldwide craze. See, oh my God, the optimism is beautiful. And like, you know what? Yeah. Let's let's assume that this isn't like a grind talk thing of like, this is how you change the fucking world. It's just like, this guy probably knows he has a full-time job and he's just like, um, these are some fun hobbies that could make you some money. Well, to be fair, running a burger business is not a fucking part-time <laughs> hobby. But like some of the ones like that, you could put in that category. So I'm choosing to ignore the burger ones Sweet. and all the food ones and all the fucking whatever and just go, hey, this is just like a nice little slice of optimism and um, yeah. maybe we need more people like him in the world. Yeah, like a preservation of someone's naivety yeah. <laughs> in book form for yeah. all time. God bless. Man, this has been a... Um, I didn't expect it, but I guess I'm still going to put the MRA grind talk in dead, dead zone. Yeah. But Tony Ward, God's alive. I think so. Boom, we're back, hey, baby. Hey, hey, That's hey, right. hey, 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 That's hey, right. hey. That's right. We are so raven. We are so 3,000 and late. And we are so running freaking Mondays. Yeah, please understand. If you're on a Monday, you are going to fucking die, right? That's right. You will not live until Tuesday. So, <laughs> What does that even mean? <laughs> uh, hey, what we do mean is, of course, yeah, thanks. We're back. It's Mondays. Um, please tell your friends it's Mondays from now on in. Yep. Tell share them this episode. Share on. this episode. That's that's the big theme for this for this season. Just, just sharing, sharing, you know, sharing, just, sharing. Man. Yeah, share, share it with no context, man. You know, yeah. just just DM, DM your mum. Just be like, mum, grind more. Mm. Yep, you lazy mother. Hey, yeah, yeah, why not? To um, your friends, what are you even doing? It's 9am. Haven't you been up for seven hours? <laughs> you freak, you little idiot. Lonely little worm. Rat man. Yeah. Hello, rat boy. <laughs> rat boy, whom's I poke? Um, that's a way to talk to your friends. Yeah, yeah, well, that's, 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 that's yeah. why we're in a studio alone with yeah, no other yeah. people in here. Yeah, yeah, because we're grinding. Talking to you. Uh, yeah, just 3 kidding. am on a Sunday. Um, and uh, if you want some more call to actions, obviously leave us a review. That shit helps. And If you want some more call to action. <laughs> I know, I know. That You're was so great. You're not tell them it's called a call no, 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 to no, no. action. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, if... <laughs> no, I keep that. That's so funny. Oh if you God. want some more deliverables, they'll be on God is Dead, not clickbait on Instagram. And the KPIs can be found in the show notes as well. It's meant to be self-aware, Bryce. I thought it was clever. I and, thought uh, it was clever. We'll be, we've I, monetized it and every listen is worth $5. So. Oh, man, man. You, you, you've, you've, you've stripped me of any any ironic authority that I thought I had. No, hey. Um, but no, do do check out Bryce, Bryce Females. Cam, Truthless69. And the pod, God is Dead, not clickbait. And all of our show analytics will be on Dropbox. <laughs> 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 and join our Discord. The PDF is there. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Case closed.